Today on Comic Talk Quick Talk, we unbox the Air Hogs Millennium Falcon Quadcopter and take first flight. Step on it, Chewie. I know this isn't the normal thing we do on Comic Talk, but I'd like to start unboxing comics as well as collectibles for you guys maybe three times a month. Every time I open a found treasure, though I don't open them that often, I can't help but be overcome with just complete joy, especially if it involves Star Wars. So today, without further ado, let's tear into this puppy. All right, so guys, this is what we're opening today. We are opening the Air Hogs Star Wars Millennium Falcon RC quadcopter, and I am super freaking excited about this. I've always wanted to fly a Millennium Falcon around my room. Like, that's been just a dream. I mean, I think as a child, you know, the only thing we had was the old school Millennium Falcon with a handle underneath it, and you had to just be like, <laughs> but anyway, let's flip it over and kind of see what kind of specs we got back here. Well, we've got the uh, LED subspace hyperdrive, which is basically just an accent light here on the back. And then we've got the ducted propellers, which it just means the quadcopter blades. And then we've got dual LED lights up on the front, so basically running lights. The controller is pretty simple. I mean, in comparison to most quadcopters controllers, it's just, it's pretty much pre-set up. I also, I kind of want to show you a comparison um, from this to something more like the 1SI, which is uh, kind of a, a step up, I guess, as quadcopters go. It's still a trainer quadcopter, but it's it's much more of a technical type thing. The controller has your pitch and yaw adjustments um, and increments, you know, like most RC controllers have, but it's a little harder to fly. And this one is not meant for outside. This little 1SI is, is not an outside quadcopter. It will, it's so light and it's just, it's just so, it's built in such a way that the air picks it up and just takes it wherever. Uh, and if this crashes and breaks, you're gonna spend some serious cash on some parts. Whereas this thing, actually, let's just go ahead and bust it open. So it's pretty simple packaging, but with this thing, it's actually made out of foam, so the the whole Millennium Falcon is 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 pliable almost. You know, you you can bend it, and it doesn't. If you were to crash it, it doesn't actually interact with any of the more mechanical aspects of it, like the blades or the battery or the servos or anything, which is actually completely built inside the foam, which is a sweet little addition there. Nice. It's very smart, I will say. So then it comes with this, your charge cable, uh, and this just uses a standard just iPhone charge base. You plug that into your wall. Uh, and this is kind of one thing I was a little confused on is the controller. It actually has the charge cable right in here. So you take this out and you plug it in to the top of the Millennium Falcon like so. And then you hook your cable here to your controller to your wall outlet, which is very, very strange. All right, so let's give this thing a, uh, a test flight, shall we? Um, I think you got to turn controller on first, then your Millennium Falcon. It should start blinking here. There it goes. Oh, there we go. All right, so now we've got control over it. Let's just get it. Oh wow, it's like super easy to fly guys. I know it's probably super loud, but it's really, really easy to fly. And I mean, hands off the controller, it just kind of hovers for the most part. You do have to manipulate it sometimes, but... Whoa! Okay, so yeah, inside flight flies really, really well. Um, I think now it's time to just take it outside and see how it does. All right, guys, so we're outside and we are gonna take off with this bad boy. So again, first things first, turn the controller on. Now let's set this puppy down. All right, let's do it, man. Ready? All right. Ooh. So yeah, I mean, controls really well. It's not so windy today. You can tell when it wobbles like that, that's the wind. So when it kind of like weebles, that's because the wind's getting it. But other than that, man, I gotta say, for outside, super, super smooth, man. Super, super smooth. There's actually a feature that I haven't turned on quite yet for you guys, and it sounds. And uh, actually, if you hit buttons, you can hear Chewbacca. Sorry for obnoxious Memphis driver drivers. Oh! 
And when you crash, it actually makes a crashing sound. But uh, that hyperdrive feature, let's talk about that real fast. So since we're outside, if you hold the right to toggle, it dips the Millennium Falcon forward and then you can kind of, it's like it's going into hyperspeed, you know? But other than that, man, gotta say, for just something that's made out of foam, flying inside and outside, it handles itself really, really well. You could do a lot of stuff with this. And uh, for a beginner, perfect, perfect thing. Good to learn on, perfect to learn on. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy by this, man. This is so awesome. Like, I feel like a child. Like I said, when I was a kid and we used to have to hold the Millennium Falcon by a handle, that was one thing. But this is a whole new thing here. Ah! See? Makes a crashing sound. So cool, guys. So cool. I really love this thing. So let's get back inside. All right, guys. In my opinion, this is one of the easiest and safest, as well as cheapest quads you can fly. Having the uh, exterior molded out of foam not only makes it safer if you hit something, it also makes it a little bit cheaper, allowing you to save money that you would usually be spending on broken parts or fixes. Also, it's super easy to fly. So if you're a budding quad pilot, I would almost suggest flying this before you actually decide to spend thousands of dollars on a DJI or a bigger, more complicated copter. Really just to help you get used to uh, taking off and landing gently, as you really don't want to destroy something as expensive as a DJI. Keep in mind this isn't really an outside heli, but you could technically fly it outside with a little practice as well as patience. So all in all guys, I have to give this guy a 10 out of 10. I mean, the batteries last about 30 minutes on a full charge, and uh, with its ability to fly both inside and outside, the Air Hogs Millennium Falcon should be a great toy for absolutely any age. All right, guys, again, coming up this week, we're gonna have our first ever comic collection submission. Again, it does fall on our discussion on Star Wars The Force Awakens, so get ready because this collection is insane. Keep sending your submissions in. Don't forget to send us a message on Facebook with either a video or a picture of your comics or collectibles with the hashtag Comic Talk Collector. As always, the link is in the down there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and support. Till next time, nerdites, stay on target.